But this kid was snatched. Think about this. In his Encino, California home, his mom's home, in the middle of the night, September 2011. He was 12 at the time, so he's now 14. I want to get his picture up for you because here's what he looked like then. He was 5 feet 2 inches tall, weighed 52 pounds, uh, blue eyes, brown hair, and this may help distinguish him. He has a mark on the center of his head where apparently hair will not grow. There are a couple other things that might catch your eye and help ID him. First of all, he loves going to the arcade to play video games, air hockey, bowling, miniature golf, or playing on PlayStation or his PC. He's particularly fond of Pokemon and Airbender. Math is his favorite school subject, and he's a picky eater. He refuses to eat beef. Mm. Favors pizza or chicken at McDonald's, Popeye's, Pizza Hut, or KFC. And he does get allergies, so he may require medication for it. Mm. So it, it, these are... So kind of put in perspective, this is what they know about. How can about we help? Him. I guess yeah. putting well, the information out there. Because they, we're, yeah, we're trying to. They believe to, that he's alive. Yeah, yeah, they believe him to be alive because he was taken, police say, by his grandfather, Donald Eugene Bird. So they know who, who drove. Took yes, who drove across the country from Florida this to California. Eugene. And this is him to take him. So that's his picture. There's a felony child abduction warrant out for him. There in Los Angeles. He's 58 years old, sometimes goes by Don, former middle school history teacher, six foot two, weighs around 250 pounds, blue eyes, black hair, with some graying there. He wears glasses, but sometimes contacts. And apparently, once he stopped teaching, he bought storage units at auctions and resold the items at flea markets or garage sales. So we tell you all of this so when you're out and about, if you're in these areas, or, these are things that have helped us find other children. And he worked part time as a security guard on weekends, too. He's reserved, he's quiet, he likes to be home. And the thing is, he may be homeschooling Zachary. So they're last known to drive a 1996 Green Dodge Dakota truck and a white Mitsubishi Spider, both with Florida tags. Police believe they could be anywhere, that they move around, they go into hiding. So if you know anything, please call 1-800-THE-LOST or go to missingkids.com. We're going to have all that information on our website. But here's the thing on HLN TV. Since we started this program a couple years ago, 32 of the kids that we have profiled have been found and are now home safe. Mm -hmm. And that is thanks that to is our viewers, because awesome. we can spit it out of our mm -hmm. mouths all day. It's the viewers who take the time to listen to these details and study these pictures. And you have helped bring 32 kids home.